Edward Snowden recently talked about Bitcoin and you won't believe what he had to say. He made shocking revelations from the ex-CIA whistleblower formerly known as Edward Snowden, currently known as Fugitive Numero Uno. Let's get into Operation Bitcoin Privacy. You won't believe what he said. Literally the same thing I've been saying for a long time. The one missing rung to Bitcoin, the one missing rung to all, almost all cryptocurrency, the one missing rung to the blockchain decentralized monetary system that we all wanted, we all hoped for, we all thought we were actually going to get is privacy, right? You already knew I was going there. This is literally privacy X, right? It's privacy. There's no privacy. How can we have a decentralized coin? When the government doesn't want us to have decentralized cryptocurrency and the government wants to control currency and then we have no privacy because they're out there just open hanging out there willy nilly with no privacy, it's really not that decentralized now is it? Because all the government has to do is do what they always do and make it illegal which they've already talked about doing. And we already know the current president who literally fell up the stairs which is barely possible three times has talked about how the Constitution is, you know, not absolute, even though it's absolute, is talking about banning crypto because he has no idea what he's looking at. He, he doesn't know the difference between a bag of melons and a phone book. But this is where we are. No privacy. Now, what has privacy? Well, Pirate Chain and Monero. I've talked a lot about Monero and Pirate Chain. The problem is usability factor while we keep them private. So what's the future of Bitcoin? Well, Edward Snowden talked a lot about how he thinks it's incredible that we have decentralized currency. And I would love to have real decentralized currency. I would love to have currency that keeps the government out of my pockets all day long. Literally, they've got a hand in my pocket as we speak. They're, they're off frame, you can't see them. But it's ridiculous at all times, at all times. You've got the president sniffing children. What? Okay, that has nothing to do with what? Okay. So we really do need a crypto that is actually de decentralized and usable and has privacy. And Snowden has talked about this. Of course, he wants one because the pickle that he finds himself in. I want one because I want to get this guy's hand out of my pocket. I'm trying to do a video. You can only pay the IRS so much money, you know? I mean, I can't cover all of your taxes for you. You guys are going to have to kick in a little bit. Edward Snowden talked about how the $6 trillion stimulus was great for Bitcoin. Same thing I said. Edward, quit quoting my videos. You know what I mean? No, I'm kidding. Edward Snowden is a really smart guy. And he recently just came out and talked about this a couple days ago. How he thinks that uh, the same thing I said two months ago is true. Just saying. But no, I'm kidding. He's never seen my videos, obviously. He's way too big time for that. He's busy. What do you think he does all day? Like, that guy can't literally do anything. He can't even open the blinds. You got snipers and ninjas outside. But the reality is, he talked about how the $6 trillion is good for crypto. I, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Everyone knows that. Not just me, not just Edward. Anybody with a pulse. Because a lot of people were able to dump money in and crypto pumped up like a big balloon. Problem is it got too big and it sprung a hole and now the air is leaking out and that's why we've seen the price almost get c cut in half. So it's not so great anymore. But it, it was a good story while it lasted. But really it's not about the price, right? It's not about how high can we pump and dump crypto because people are getting wise to that name, that game and the, the pump and dumps are going to start falling apart over the next couple of months. But what's not going to fall apart is the future of decentralized currency now uh, well unless the government you know dives in like they often do and starts to add random regulating bodies and they start popping up offices and you got i mean the amount of stuff they've added to the tax forms that we've got to fill out and do over the next couple of years is literally ludicrous and not the tiny little rapper that popped up in every video in the 90s i'm talking ridiculous right this sucks the fact of how Deep the government, I mean, they've really sunk their hands in the, they, they've really kind of, they, they've really kind of just really dug deep in the people's privacy and the people's finances. And it's unfortunate. 
it's really starting to become unfortunate and I don't, uh, I don't like it. I highly doubt you like it. And I think we're in a situation now where people want to, they want to have options. They want to feel like they can breathe. They don't want to feel like they work for the government every single day. And that's what crypto is supposed to be, but it's not, unfortunately. It's just companies like Coinbase going public and making billions of dollars. And it's just companies like, um, you know, uh, these cryptocurrencies making trillions of dollars. And then the little guy left holding the bag when the air gets pushed out. And then you're stuck upside down like everyone with the GameStop stock and the other stock that, you know, Reddit pumped and then dumped. Or Elon Musk does one tweet and the market moves by six billion trillion zillion dollars just because he's Elon Musk and he's got that level of power. So what we have to do and what we have to look at is where, you know, not where, where the crypto is, but where's the crypto going? We can't ask ourselves, what is crypto today? We have to say, what will crypto be when it blossoms? Well, it's going to be in a lot of trouble if we keep going the way we're going. And so that's why I'm really hopeful. And I'm sure you're hopeful because we're both hopeful that the future of crypto is bright, bright and shiny. Kind of like this. Let, let me let me cut to this. Let, let me show you my bright and shiny crypto. I'll show you where I keep my crypto. So I keep all my Bitcoin literally up my sleeve, just in case you know for emergencies. But what I would recommend you do is understand that it's not a privacy coin and it's not necessarily a great investment. It goes up and down. It's very volatile. And I've had a lot of people reach out and ask me, hey, what do I do? When do you think Bitcoin's going to go back up? You're asking the wrong questions. You're literally speculative. You're becoming a day trader. And it was fun for a lot of people in 2020 when they had a lot of time, nothing to do. Maybe they had a little extra money. Maybe they had no money and they were just like in Vegas putting it all on red, right? Red seven and spin that wheel and see what happens, right? And so what's happening is people are starting to get back to normal and this is an option and we're not pumping trillions of new stimulus. And so the market has started to kind of levelize and normalize. It's not about will it go back up? Bitcoin's probably gonna keep going down. And even if it does the dead cat bounce, it'll come back down like it did in, in 2017 because it's gotta have a reason. I've talked about this before. Bitcoin is just a hype train. It is nothing but a hype train. If everyone gets on it like they did in 2020, in the beginning, it went down to like four grand and then it went up to 60 grand and then it got chopped down to like 30 grand and you know, it goes up a little down a little. And we've been seeing this trend for a couple weeks ever since everything started to normalize in the country and in the world and open back up, no more stimulus, no more government money. There you go. So how do you keep your Bitcoin privacy private? Step one, sell all your Bitcoin cause it's not private. Step two, Xerox your middle finger and then email it to yourself and then upload it to your uh, Coinbase account and then close the account and then reason why, attach the middle finger and then close your account because it's worthless. Switch over to a, uh, an actual digital wallet and then buy Monero and you know, R, A-R-R-R, -R -R, Pirate Chain. And then if it helps you sleep at night, pretend those are Bitcoin because people have this weird love affair with Bitcoin, like they're the Beatles or something and they have to have them and they just love them. And so uh, tell yourself it's Bitcoin if you have to. But the reality is, how do you have a, a privacy coin? You sell your Bitcoin. Now, oh, I want to keep a little bit of Bitcoin. I don't know why you'd want to keep Bitcoin, but let's say you're upside down, like, I don't know, 40 million people are upside down right now in Bitcoin because Bitcoin did what every smart person knew it would do, and that's crash, and it'll probably crash a lot more, and then all the gurus will come out because they have a course to sell you, and they'll be like, it's on sale, buy it now, because I've got a course for three payments of $9 million. You too could have a Lamborghini, and a girl in a bikini, and a, 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 you know, a taco truck, and uh, this McMansion that used to be Dan Blazarian's, but he went broke, so now I bought it for cash because of my crypto. And then three weeks later, you know, <clears throat> they're on welfare. So this is what happens every single time, every single time. So what's my prediction for Bitcoin? It's going to hang around. 
because it's Bitcoin and it's like a cockroach and it just won't go away. But the technology sucks, it's old, it's outdated, and it provides no value other than a high beast. It's kind of like a Supreme t-shirt. It adds no extra value, but I'll tell you what, with that logo, I'll pay an extra three, four, five, nine hundred dollars wouldn't you? Makes perfect sense. You can get Supreme on bricks and, and, and bread and, and, and anything you want. So, makes sense. And that's Bitcoin, it's the hype beast of crypto. Anyway, make sure you go all in at everything you do. Buy Monero if you want a privacy coin. Buy Bitcoin if you want to speculate. Nothing wrong with speculating, but that's what you do. Understand, that's what you do. People think crypto is always going to go up. It's always going to go up and it's always going to go down. It's always going to raise. It's always going to crash. Everyone's a genius. Everyone's a genius in a bull market, but in a bear market, everyone is crying to the SEC. Like what's happening right now. Everyone lost their life savings. Yeah, because you fell for the hype. You know who didn't? The smart people at the top. It's a modern day pyramid. Have fun. Anyway, go on everything you do. Subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video.